everybody, this is Tanya Lux and I'm the product marketing manager for Particle Shop. I'm going to go ahead and open up Particle Shop from within Photoshop. You can also do this if you're working in Lightroom, Corel Draw, Photo Paint, or Paint Shop Pro. And we're going to begin with this image here. And the brush that I'd like to focus on is part of the starter pack that's included with your default purchase. And this is the hairbrush. And this is a beautiful, subtle brush that you can add strands of hair with. Now I could choose to use the color wheel and mix up, you know, do a crazy color like blue, pink, green, um, all those styles of hair that are very popular these days with um, crazy colors. Or what I'm going to do is actually use my eyedropper and I'm going to sample from within the hair, get my brush tool back. You can tap the B key on your keyboard to do this. And we'll just zoom in a little bit closer here. Now when I begin to lay down my brush strokes, I'm noticing I'm just running with the default settings. This is how the settings are set up when you first install Particle Shop out of the box. Now I, I'm seeing kind of a little burst of hair that's happening here. And I happen to be using a Wacom tablet. And I can make a couple adjustments to my settings up here. So these icons where you see the, this is actually a stylus, displaying pressure sensitivity. I'm going to turn that on to adjust the size of the brush stroke with pressure and also change the opacity level based on pressure. So now that I have that set up, let's see what kind of impact that has on my brush stroke. Now you can see this is a much more um, subtle single type of strand that I am now adding to my photo. Now, if I want to increase this brush size, this is going to give me more strands that I'm working with. So if I kind of pull off on the, the right hand side here, you can see we're adding strands within each individual stroke. Now, I could also come over and grab something like my blend tool and maybe I'll size this down a little bit. If I wanted to start blending in, you know, at the, the tip of the brush stroke that I placed there, I can start to blend those strokes into the existing photo that I already had. Very similar to what you would find if any of you have ever used Painter before. Now if we go back to the brush tool, there's one more adjustment option that I would like to point out, and that is the value variability. So you can see right now this is set at 5%, and the way that this is adjusting is the value that I have selected here, it's going to add 5% value from the original seed color that I have selected. So I'm gonna take and really bump up the value variability, and now we'll begin to add brush strokes here, and it's going to be adding more value to each individual brush stroke based on the percentage that you are setting. Okay, so you can see now we're starting to get some darker strands that are being integrated into my brush strokes there. And once again, I might come up and start to do a little blending, you know, just where I, I started the stroke and began to lay down those brush strokes. This is just a very quick introduction to the hairbrush and the kinds of subtle effects that you can obtain in just a matter of minutes. Now, if I go ahead and click save, it's going to save everything that I have done to that image. And within Photoshop, I can give this a new name and save a secondary file, preserving my original. So that is the hairbrush included in the starter pack.